I have one special weapon in my mind for this run and no it's not the serpent hunter or the strong ice axe. But at first I want to kill the tree sentinel right at the start of the run. No special reason, I just always do it like that. Now that he's gone I will explain my master plan. My weapon of choice will be the bloodhound's fang and yeah I know what you're thinking. A level 1 character can't wield it because of the missing stats blah blah blah, but don't worry I will show you that it's very possible with a bit of work. Using the weapon will get easier the longer the run goes on but it's also possible in the early game. To be able to wield the Bloodhound's Fang in the early game you will need to get the Radagon Sore Seal and the Wondrous Physic Flask combined with the Strength and Dexterity Tears and voila! We now have enough stats points to wield the Bloodhound's Fang for a couple of minutes. Now we have to get the weapon itself and before we do that we will visit this rune here. Teleport to our Christmas Merchant and get the Snap Emote. After we got the emote we return back to the rune. Use it and talk to our best boy Blade and after talking to him we can finally get the weapon we're planning on using. We made the boss fight a lot easier now because talking to Blade before the fight turns him into a summon that can actually solo the boss. Most of the time. But hey we got our weapon now and look we can actually use it when drinking from our magic flask. I will upgrade it first so before challenging Margin, because I need to do as much damage as possible since without more talisman slots we're on a timer and I don't want to risk losing any boss fights, because my timer ran out. Now we're gonna get the Uchigatana to use the bleed damage to kill the massive dragon in Kaled and we do that because we need some runes to upgrade our weapon. With killing the dragon we have more than enough runes to buy the somber smithing stones from EG and it instantly upgraded to plus 4. After that we visit the academy and teleport us to the volcano manor to collect the somber smithing stone 5 and 6. Please activate a grace by the way, because we will return here soon, and now we challenge Margin. Sip on your special flask and fucking destroy Margin, because the bloodhound's fang is an absolute beast. Now with Marja defeated we'll work on further upgrading this baby. Talk to Gossok and let him open the main gate and kill him after to get his bell berry. I'm preparing for the first actual difficult fight and it will be the Godskin Noble and that's why we're buying the buckler now. And after a couple of deaths against the Noble I got the almost perfect strat against him. Step 1, Juice Up. Step 2, Run directly at him because that will make him do his poke attack most of the time and this one special attack is really easy to parry. Step 3, Repost and use the weapon art after. Step 4, when phase 2 begins hide behind a pillar. And fucking pray. Final step, repeat and win. We can finally upgrade our weapon to plus 9. Collect the somber stone 7 from after the godskin noble and the stones for 8 and 9 from Kaelin. After upgrading our weapon we can finally start actually beating the game. First up is Godric and with our plus 9 Bloodhound Fang it's not even a challenge. The reward is great though because with Godric's great rune we technically don't need our magic flask anymore, although I'll probably still use it, because of the extra damage scaling. That's the end of all the prep for the run till now because the Bloodhound Fang is actually too strong to have any trouble, at least for me. So we're just rushing through Renala, the Draconic Tree Sentinel and basically the rest of the game. Well. That was the plan. Renala, Tree Sentinel and the Piscos were no problem, but then, Marja 2.0 happened. Well let's say after a couple of death I was pissed and decided to get a little bit of extra damage with the Ritual Sword Talisman and let's say, it worked. 
After getting it I got him on my second try. Next was a fire giant and I've run out of rune arcs so I'm on a timer, but I'm gonna say it again. Our weapon is a beast. It only took a few tries to beat him. For real this time, but now. We get to the boss fight that made me want it and everything. The godskin duo, I'm out of rune arcs and my timer is too short to make it, so we got two more talismans that let us wield our weapon permanently. It doesn't make the fight easier but it makes the fight possible without farming rune arcs and looking at my flask timer and let's say after countless of tries I finally did it and I don't want to talk about this fight anymore. Next up was Malekith and it was a true test of skill. He's one of my favorite bosses together with Moke. It felt like I was dancing with him until I got the victory, to be honest I forgot to record the Gideon fight. But it's Gideon so who cares, now comes Godfrey and after some deaths I decided not to talk about him too, cause it took an ungodly amount of deaths, and now, comes the final stretch. Radagon and Elden Beast and I shit you not, this fucking fight took me 3 whole days of grinding only because of all the homing attacks from the beast. Radagon's actually was pretty easy because I was able to learn all his parry timings, but Elden was pure hell. To be honest I only beat him out of pure luck because I managed to stun him while he was trying to do Elden stars. And thank fucking god it interrupted the entire attack and I was safe for the rest of the battle. I just wanted to say. If you actually watched until now thank you so much. I actually got a VTuber model now and I want to use it in future videos. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Also follow me on Twitter, but if you don't, perish!